gonna tell you what the hardest part about this business model has been so far. But first, let's talk about what I do here. I started Tanglefoot Brewing in 2021 and started brewing on a one barrel system that cost me about $2,000 to purchase all the equipment and be able to brew beer. Roughly a year after being in business, I needed to scale my equipment up again, so I bought this. Two fermentation vessels, two bright tanks, a glycol chiller, and the brew house. That cost me about $25,000 to get everything set up, buying little equipment here and there, and putting it all together on site. Luckily, I had money and savings that allowed me to buy the first system, build out the bar, and also buy the second round of equipment. But now I'm out of money, and I'm needing to scale again. So what do I do? That's the big question. Let's dive into the economics of this brewery as it currently stands. Currently, my business model is almost exclusively selling beer by the glass. Which is great because that yields the highest profit margin in the industry when you can sell your product for retail prices direct to the consumer. Unfortunately, I can only brew about 100 barrels of beer per year with the system that I currently have. Which, if you ran the calculations out for me selling all of that beer by the glass at $6 a glass, I could only generate about $150,000 in revenue per year. That's not a lot. And of course I sell other stuff like shirts, hats, and of course, six packs. But each of those things is lower margin than the retail sales of beer. So if I wanna make more money, I need to scale production and ultimately sell more beer. But there's two problems. One, I need the money to scale up. And scaling up larger than what I currently am at is gonna cost tens of thousands of dollars. And I don't have that much money right now, so I would need to either bring on investment or take out a bank loan, which are, both are not ideal. And I would really love to have cash flowed this business like I did when I began. But when you're selling as little beer as I currently am selling, it's really difficult to cash flow because, well, there's just not that much cash. Problem number two is if I do scale, I need to be able to sell that beer. Now the economics of selling beer by the pint have the highest amount of margin, which is awesome, but it's unrealistic to expect me to sell a million dollars in beer by the glass at this location. So the only reasonable expectation for being able to sell beer that I'm able to produce if I do scale up is through distribution. Well, distribution is kind of a racket. If you haven't heard, distribution is probably the most challenging aspect of this industry. And you're seeing a lot of breweries pivoting their model to more on-site taproom focused event spaces rather than sending a large amount of beer into distribution, specifically because the margin is much lower. So if I were to sell 100% of the beer that I can produce on the system that I currently have in distribution, I would only be able to generate $60,000 worth of revenue. That's revenue, not profit. So each step of scaling up in order to send beer out into the market is kind of diminishing returns. You take on a lot of debt or investment in order to invest into equipment in order to grow your production, but then the returns are smaller and smaller at each step because you're now paying back the loan, you're paying back investors. Margins just kind of shrink the more that you do it. Not to mention, if I were to increase production and expect to send it out in the distribution, that's a whole different ball game. It's actually one aspect of the industry that I'm the least familiar with, and it's a lot of work. It's pretty much a logistics game, and so I would ultimately want to send that to a distributorship so that they could take all of the work of delivering the beer to the consumer. Well, if you go through a distributor, you can chop off another 30% of your revenue because the distributors got to make money too. So I'm kind of at a weird spot right now. I initially got in this business in 2012 and had the desire to produce beer and sell it to the consumer and thought that that would be the road to success, right? Everybody was brewing beer and they were selling a lot of it and it seemed like people were making money. Well, now we have about 10,000 breweries in this country and it's really competitive. So the hopes of selling a lot of beer and distribution seem increasingly less sustainable. And that's where my head's at right now. I'm trying to decide what's the appropriate amount of increase in production and distribution to make the best business model because ultimately I wanna grow this to be a great business. I think my best course of action currently is to use the limited amount of funds that I already have in the bank plus a bank loan to scale my production just a little bit. If I could increase my production from 100 barrels to 200 barrels of beer production per year, I could attempt to sell 100 barrels of beer on site and 100 barrels of beer off site into distribution. The ideal world, which business is never an ideal world, that would only generate me $210,000 in revenue, potential revenue, which still is not a lot, but in order to do this, I would need to secure probably $20,000 worth of funding. 
And I think I'm going to have to do that. Unfortunately, that seems to be the only way forward with scaling the business at this time and place. Uh, it's pretty daunting. And if you're looking to get into opening a brewery yourself, uh, keep this in the back of your mind that you can start off bigger and have all the capacity in the world, but then you're stuck with the problem of being able to sell that beer, which is very difficult right now. Or you could start off super small like I did and deal with these problems where you're now trying to scale and you're just trying to pick the lesser of two evils. So that's kind of where my head is at right now. This has been on my mind for a few months, pretty much every day, and it's been pretty stressful to think about the next step in the business. I really want to grow the beer brand, but I also don't want to be an exclusively on-site only beer experience. I think it's one, limiting from a business perspective, and two, I'd like to get my beer to more consumers instead of having everybody just come here. Fortunately, the industry is pivoting the opposite direction where most breweries are looking to have an on-site beer experience by adding entertainment, food components, and those are all things that I'm not really interested in doing for a number of reasons that I could dive into in another video, but I really wanna just make beer and sell it to people and grow a beer brand that people associate with Temple, Texas. So I hope this was insightful into my mind right now because it feels like a bowl of mush. And if you're going through these same problems, let me know, please feel free to comment below on the video. If you are starting a brewery or you're looking to start a brewery, email me at andy at tanglefootbrewing.com. I'd love to jump on a Zoom call with somebody and film it for the channel and kind of detail the process of people going through the same thing that I'm going through. And hopefully we can uh, give some insight to more people and help people build better beer businesses. So that's all I got. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.